Hi everyone. We wanted to show you what your choices are when you're thinking about rebuilding the parallel arms on your planters. Uh, here we have two new John Deere arms. Still have the paint on the insides of the holes and a new John Deere bushing. So you rebuild your row units with these. This is where you're going to start at as far as how tight the arms and the bushings are. Hoping you can see that. That's a new arm and a new bushing. The paint's still in it. This is the lower arm. So they start pretty loose. The problem with this is, the first day you start using them, they're gonna wear all the paint out and any high spots in these arms, and they're gonna be even worse after one day's use. And then they just get worse every day from there. Here's our product. We have a hardened bushing that goes in the parallel arm and then this hex bushing. And I'll show you from this side. Back and forth, you, can, you can't even hear it moving. And I'll put it through from the back side here so you can see. You can hear a little bit of movement but we have much tighter tolerance and a larger surface area because of this flange bushing. It just makes everything much tighter. I'm gonna show you what our system will do on a very worn row unit. We were able to get our hands on a couple of John Deere row units that had been thrown in the scrap and uh, we're gonna be able to show you what our system will do for it. The one on the left here has nothing done to it other than we put new bushings in it. So this is the best it could be if it had new bushings. And you can see how much movement we have. You can hear when I lift up on the row unit, you can hear the slack come out of it by, by listening for it. And we've also got a lot of side-to-side -side movement. So these, uh, these arms are war, probably more than what most planters are that, you know, would, uh, would be trying to use our bushings. But we wanted to show what our process was like on one. So you can see how much slack is in it. Now we took a matched pair of arms off the same planter. A lot of people have asked about how important it is to center the holes back to where they were. We just let the reamers follow the holes and uh, and reamed these arms out and used our bushings and this is this is the result. Notice you don't hear that second clank when I pick up on it because there's no slop in it. And there's no side-to-side -side movement on this road. 